Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, sorry for such a delay in the National Post game. Few things have happened since we last talked. Besides the Oilers winning, let's play some La Bamba Baby on that 5 1 victory. Also, congratulations to Noah Felp. First career game, first career point on a beautiful play to Kajula. Kajula puts it off the pads. And who's there to score the goal? Of course, Corey, Corey Perry. Now, things that have happened. Uh, don't know if you guys can tell, my mouth is a little swollen. I've had jaw work done since the last time we spoke against the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Conor McDavid injury. Now, it is one game, but the mayor of Nashville showed up and showed out. Yes, Leon Dreisaitl is the mayor of the Nashville Predators. The guy just puts points up. Also, it is November, what day are we at today? Third. It's Sunday. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Finally have the energy. Finally have the mouth control. Finally can get the jaws working. Going to do a quick little recap here for you. Like I said, Nashville 1, Edmonton 5. It started out great. I mean great for the Oilers. 35 seconds or thereabouts. 37 seconds into the game. Victor Arvidsson back door. Put the puck in the net wide open. Of course, Drysaddle looked for him and him specifically. More on the Drysaddle puck holes in Arvidsson line, which looked great again tonight. It was a team effort by those guys. I got some stats for you. Courtesy of Lubo. Guys, my stat guy, as you guys know, top three Oilers from their 5-1 victory versus Nashville. Number one, dry settle. 3.9 over the 19 minutes and 20 seconds. He got a 1.39. Now, he's put together a formula that's goals, points, assists, ice time, your plus minus on ice time, your hits, how productive you are on the ice. With the time that you're given. Ah, mama mia, that hurt my elbow. Anyways, he's gotten Leon Dreisel at number one with the 1.319. Corey Perry is next with a 1041 with 10 minutes of ice time and 21 seconds. And Victor Arvinson with a 0.767 in his 17 minutes and 36 minutes of ice time. Now, Yanmark RNH were in the bottom. With the zeros, they didn't really do much offensively. They didn't really do anything defensively. They were just doing line skating up and down the ice, being a warm body out there. Hopkins, this needs to change like that. We got we got Calgary tonight. We got New Jersey tomorrow. You need to pick your game up. There's no secret there. You just got to be better. You got to be better, kid. And Yanmark, let's just hope Yanmark figures it out. Like, he's... He's the PK guy. He's doing his thing on a PK. Not really because they get scored on every freaking PK, it seems like. But he's a fourth-line guy. You can't really expect much. Zero is good. I'd rather be a zero than a negative. Anyways, let's move along to the goals again. Again, 37 seconds in. Arvidsson, dry saddle pod, Colson. Huge. Unfortunately, 5.30 after that, the Oilers take a penalty. Tell me if you heard this before. Philippe Forsberg scores, makes it 1-1. Now she'll ties the game on a power play. Good thing they went 1-3 for three in that department where the Oilers went 0-1. Any hoosies. Corey Perry scores at 9.54 of that first period. Assisted by Drake Kajula and Noah Philp. And if you watch the game, oh, oh, Malone can Philip win faceoffs, be physical, get to the dirty areas. I think we have a replacement for Derek Ryan. Unfortunately, I love the kid, Derek Ryan, but I think Philippe is here to stay when Connor McDavid comes back in seven more games. Yes, he's only out two. Two weeks, not three, not four, not more. He's out two weeks, eight games. Oilers will survive. Anyways, I think Philippe stays up. Kajula goes back down, but to hell, man. Drake. Welcome back to the NHL Oilers. First assist, first game back. You get her done like we know you could. Second period rolls around. 
Leon Dreisaitl steals it at the blue line, goes in on a breakaway. He shoots, he scores. 9.03 into the second period. That's the only goal scorer in the second period. That was mostly all Nashville. Shots in the second period were 10 to 5 for Nashville, but Oilers got that goal. Remember, Calvin Picard was in net tonight, not Stu Skinner. I believe Skinner gets the set Sunday start against Calgary. Picard gets the jersey start. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's how it's going to go, and I think that's how it should go. Give Stewie a chance to redeem himself after that Columbus blowjob. That was bad. That Columbus game was terrible on all that, on all fronts. Just on all fronts. Anyways, into the third period we go, and who is it again? Oh, of course, it's Leon Dreisaitl. Gets the assist from Ekholm, and boo, Shard. Dreisaitl off the post and in. Like, this guy, when he shoots on national goalies, he scores. Can we just play national 82 games? Play them 82 times, we've got an 82-0 record. I'm just saying, he is the mayor of Nashville. And later on with 12.46 into the third period, Zach Hyman, welcome to the score sheet, Hyman. You've been pressing, you've been pressing, you got your goal. Let's hope it snowballs into more. Anywho, Nurse and Jeff Skinner get the assist on that. Oilers go home happy, as they should when they play the National Predators. Let's be honest. It's a, it's a game and it's a team that they should always win. Anyways, like I said, Noah Felt, congratulations on your first game played as an Edmonton Oiler. <clears throat> gonna make this short and sweet. I did make a graphic. You gotta make a graphic. The guy, the myth, the legend. He took a year and a bit off for mental health issues. Congratulations to him that he overcame whatever was bothering him. It's good to see good guys get rewarded. Noah Phil, University of Alberta guy, he is definitely one of the good guys. Now, let's go a little into a deeper dive like we always do. Oh, not that ugly mug. Definitely don't want to see that guy. Ah, oh, you're going to see me anyway. Do that for you. Anyways, 29 shots to 27, like I said. Nashville owned the second period, but that was about all they owned. Face-off percentage, 54%, 46% for the Oilers. Again, a lot of that was Noah Philp and Dry Settle. Noah Philp took offensive face-offs, he took defensive face-offs, and he took neutral zone face-offs. The guy can win face-offs. He's a big body. The Oilers are needing a face-off guy. Penalty minutes were 16 to 12. Two fights, two knockouts. Boy, oh boy, Pod Colson's got a heavy right. Don't step in front of that kid anytime soon. Congratulations to 49 Emerson on winning his first NHL fight as well. But damn, Pod Colson, two punch, you done, kid. And Lazan is not a pushover. Lazan is a fight, fight, fighter. Hits for 30 12 for the National Predators. Of course, when you don't have the puck very often, you're going to be the hitter, not the hit T. And block shots were 19 to 12 for the Oilers. Usually this is where I go in and show you the Oilers' goals and how they scored it. Unfortunately, it is pushing late into the early morning. I got to get rest, get ready to do my things. But before I go, we're going to play some La Bamba, baby, because the Oilers win. That's how we do it around here. Yes, I'm wearing a white jersey. Let me get rid of this other thing here. Right quick, boom, bang, shabooms. Now, I'm going to lower the, my, 
Lower the heads. Lower it is. Lower it is. It is a Movember Jiffy Lube jersey. I wear this jersey every Movember away game because it is November, but we celebrate the Mo for the mustache. Thus, I am very clean shaved. It'll grow back, I promise. And who's on the back? It's 94. It's the jersey number I wear religiously when I play hockey. And it's a number that it's just, it's my number. It's Ryan Smith's number, but it's also my number. I like it. If you guys aren't in support of it, go support the Movember.ca. I do it. It's a huge thing. Always, always get yourself checked out. Mental health and men's health is very important. So yes, there's it's Movember. Let's let's remember that, guys. Let's be let's be nice to our men. And Uzi, it is late. My name is Matt for Oilers fan reaction. I'll see you guys in less than 14 hours. Six o'clock start tonight. The Oilers are taking on the Calgary Flames in Calgary. And then tomorrow, 6.30, it's Cinco de Mayo Day, which the game is on Prime. So I don't even know if I'm going to be broadcasting that game because I don't think I have Prime. And even then, I think you have to be a Prime subscriber. Might have to figure out something, some tweaking, some internet tricker, trickery, but we'll find out Monday. Anyways, my name is Matt. Comment, like, subscribe. See you Sunday night. Battle of Alberta. Deuces.